So I never thought I would be saying this, but the shows are officially back in Las Vegas. Officially back. Could you imagine if you had uttered those words a year ago? People would look at you like you're nuts. No, but I'm standing right now in front of a theater called the Mosaic on the Strip. I had to look twice. This used to be called the Empire Ballroom back in the day. And last week, I actually had somebody contact me for another reason altogether based on my work. And he told me about this theater. And he said, guess what? Sisolak released the restrictions on the, what, how many gatherings we can have. And we are going live. This is the first full weekend they've been live. This is right across the street. Right now I'm across the street from the city center and the Park MGM. So before we go any further, my name is Steven and I'm not leaving Las Vegas. And I actually, with the permission of one of the owners, have some footage from you guys inside. Now it's Billy Joel and it's Elton John, so I can't really include the audio. So I have to put something else in here, which really, really sucks because YouTube will copyright strike me and I'll have my channel jeopardized. But we're gonna show that footage in just a minute. But this theater here is the first glimpse possibly of things to come. So if you guys haven't done yet, done so yet, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for the future notifications, and also comment below, are you excited? Would you go to this kind of a show? Are you waiting for the Cirque du Soleil's of the world to come out? Because right now, this is what Vegas is going to transition to. Smaller, more intimate shows, more family-friendly oriented, and maybe not a cast of 300 plus for a Cirque du Soleil kind of production number. If you guys want to support the channel, make sure you head on over, hit the channel memberships, go over to Vegas, uh, to uh, the Vegas, not leaving Las Vegas, Patreon. I just finished a live stream and I'm really, really tired. Also, you guys can go over to VegasFaceMask.com, the only two face masks you'll ever need. And there's no S on the end of that one right there. But, so what does this mean for the city? It means that entertainment is coming back to Las Vegas. Also, in this video a little bit later, the Planet Hollywood did open. We did a live stream from there, so you guys should check that live stream out if you haven't. The Planet Hollywood is open. Now, what's not open? The big venues, the Chris Angels of the world. And it's all going to come down to the amount of people that you could actually put into a venue. See, this one here is capped at 190 persons. We talked about Steve Sisolak's strange, esoteric sense of doing things and making sure that there's a, a 25 foot space between an entertainer on stage and the audience itself. Some people pointed out, maybe that's because these audience, uh, these uh, people are singing and singing the germs and everything from their mouths, singing. Nobody wants to wear a chin diaper or a face mask when they're singing. I don't blame them. They'd be very muffled. But uh, they're actually losing revenue on that kind of a show because if you're a show operator, you have the chance to sell the orchestra seating, which is right next to the stage. You can't sell that right now for a premium price because Steve Sisolak says that you have to have 25 feet between the entertainers and the audience. I guess short of putting back a plexiglass screen, which would just be a, a shield, which would be ridiculous. There's not much that they can do. But what does this mean for live entertainment in Vegas in general? It means that as we lift restrictions, it seems like we're gonna have more gatherings in town. The more gatherings we have, the more stuff there is for you to actually come in and do, the better of an experience you're gonna have in Las Vegas. Now this theater here has three different shows. It has Piano Man, which is a tribute to Elton John and to uh, Billy Joel, which are two of the best uh, acts from the 70s and 80s and 90s, arguably, in pop culture of, of maybe all time when it comes to all around music. It also has a show called Aussie Heat. And if that sounds familiar to you, you've been coming to Vegas for a while. Well, that show is actually over at the Planet Hollywood for a while, but now it's here at the Mosaic on the Strip. It also has a show called Queens of Rock. The ultimate tribute to women in rock, which might be a great show too. Also on the marquee is something called The Mob Story. I think that show is gonna be coming soon according to the owners of the show. But let's take a look at that footage right now. And you guys can see a little bit of what this theater looks like inside. I posted up a preview on my uh, YouTube stories. You might've seen that as well, but here we go. And also I will put the actual music on the Patreon and on the uh, YouTube channel members because I can post it on a different service. That'll be a perk for you guys. that could be a glimpse of things to come in Las Vegas and it's nice and super cool 
that, uh, you know, the owner, um, her name is Sophia, she let me come in and take that. She actually welcomed me in. She says, come on in. Do you want to stay for the next show? It's the mail review. And I said, no, I'll, I'll take a pass on that. I'm going to get some pizza and head on home and tell the wife about the cool night that I had. But if this continues on with this trend, we could see other bigger shows that are the huge ones that cost you two, three hundred dollars a ticket coming in. Now the tickets here we learned earlier are going to sell anywhere between fifty to eighty-five dollars, depending on where you want to sit. It looks like there's a bar inside too. I don't know if they're serving alcohol there because it was closed when I came in there, and that's this image right here that you can see. But it's actually nice to see that this thing is going on in Las Vegas. I'm actually relieved to see that the shows are coming back. And next up, nightclubs. What's going on with nightclubs? That might be the next thing to fall uh, in terms of uh, closures. Nightclubs could be back possibly by the end of the year from what I'm hearing, but I can't tell you where I heard that rumor. It's just something that I am hearing. And if it does happen that way, we're gonna have a pretty good experience in Las Vegas coming in here, especially for Thanksgiving and for the winter time. Just a little extra report on Vegas so I make sure that this video has some kind of substance on it. It is Thursday night on the Strip right now. There is a lot of stuff that is open. It's actually quite impressive to see. People are out and about in Las Vegas. The stores like the Target store that's opened right here in Las Vegas is actually open right now. And people are lined up. They're watching NFL football games at the bars. They're in the shows, the only show that I know that's performing right now. Heck, I've even driven past the gentlemen's clubs and noticed that their marquees say that they are now open. So, looks to me like Vegas' recovery is coming along very quickly and very nicely. And hopefully when people come here, they do keep their sensibilities about them. We have to make sure that we do wear our masks when we're in traffic with a lot of people. Look, there's a light breeze right now. I have my face mask. When I go into a crowded area, I put the mask on. That's just what you have to do. But wash your hands. I lied to you just now. That was the Walgreens. This is actually the Target store right here. I couldn't see it, I was looking at the camera. Cut me some slack. But uh, if you are coming back to Las Vegas, it looks like there are things to do. The bars are open. Um, you can watch sports at the sports books. Planet Hollywood's open. The only one that's not open is the Cromwell. And as we spent the first half of this video talking about, obviously the shows are opening up in Las Vegas. Coming up, possibly we'll have nightclubs to some kind of a capacity with socially distancing. Possibly the lights can be a little bit turned up so they can enforce people doing crazy things. Because look, let's be honest, if you can go to a giant lounge over at the Cosmopolitan and meet strangers and get way too friendly, I don't see why you can't do it at the nightclubs. You shouldn't do it because we should be distancing and we should be keeping our sensibilities. But why is bang, bang. Photo bomb, bang, bang. So why is it that one industry favors the other? I don't know. Maybe there's a political or a money thing there that I don't know about. But anyways, I'm out here on the strip. I just thought I would do this video tonight for you tomorrow because I got to see that show and it seemed apt that I would do that. Oh my gosh, more licensed music. I'm over here by the Hard Rock. Always so, always so loud. And they are playing the Rascal Flats version of Life is a Highway. Don't anybody know that Tom Cochran version is the best? I'm from Canada though, so that's why I kind of favor that. Anyways, my name's Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. Hopefully you guys would like, share, subscribe. Tell me what you think about everything opening up in Las Vegas. Are you gonna throw out the whole C19 trap and it's terrible? Or are you living your life wearing your face mask that you can get from VegasFaceMask.com, washing your hands and being sensible because this is something that's not going away anytime soon and I would hate to see you guys stuck in time somewhere. All right, make sure you like, share, subscribe. This is the time of the channel where I say three, two, one, click. Hi, did I hear my name? Yes, I hear your vlogs all the time. You in a blog real fast? Sure. Sure, what's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, where are you guys from? Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, You're Ohio. Buckeyes, aren't you? The Buckeyes, yeah. yes. That's cool. We're That's actually cool. big use to the band's Bearcats. Right, so. I was just over the theater, they're doing shows right now, I guess, too. So oh, I was just doing that and just talking about that. Oh. And I was just ready to say three, two, one, click on my video. <laughs> did, you, did you guys want to say three, two, one, click with me? Yes. So I always say three, two, one, click. Yep, right? always. So we're going to say like, share, subscribe. And your name again, sorry? Jennifer. Jennifer and? Keith. Keith from Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. All right, guys. So three, two, one, click. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna say three, two, one, and click.